Police and Bishop are seeing a rise in crime throughout the city involving juveniles. That led to a curfew in place there. Our Andrew Christensen leads us off with more on this crime trend. The Bishop Mayor and Police Department tell me it's places like this basketball court right here at Bishop City Park that kids are doing things like tearing down basketball nets and also other crimes. They tell me what's to blame is school closures due to COVID and also school breaks. It's crimes like vandalism of park benches and graffiti that Chief Edward Day from the Bishop Police Department says are on the rise. In the last two to three months, we've noticed an uptick in juvenile crime specifically. It's become a trend. And it's not just crimes at the park. Police say teens are also the prime suspects for crimes like vehicle burglary, shoplifting, and criminal trespassing. We understand that kids are going to be kids. They're going to do mischievous things, but when they damage other people's property, when they steal things from people, it now becomes a criminal matter. Bishop's curfew for minors starts at 10 p.m. and ends at 6 a.m. Sunday through Thursday. On Fridays and Saturdays, it starts at 11.30 p.m., but Bishop Mayor Tim Miller says they're thinking of extending it. Well, a curfew will make sure that the children are off the field and in home where they belong at, at certain hours of the night. Chief Day says they were not enforcing the curfew much during school breaks, but now that's changing. Allowing kids to be out there playing basketball, burning off energy, we think that's a good thing. However, when they start damaging property and start doing things of that nature, that's when we need to crack down and there's consequences for that behavior. Minors can be fined up to $500 if they break curfew, and police are increasing patrol in high crime areas. As for crimes like vehicle burglary and graffiti, Chief Day tells me that the punishment depends on how much is stolen or damaged. Reporting in Bishop, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.